Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel and today we are here for a very special review and I have here my Caveco coins and today we are reviewing a pen of this color by Caveco and it is the very special Caveco Sterling Sport. First of all, I have to thank Caveco for sending me this luxury item and to allow me to have the, the opportunity to review one of the most special pens I ever had the chance to, to hold. So, special thank you to Caveco. This pen is the Caveco Sterling Sport and let's see how it comes. It comes inside these uh, inside the metal box that comes with this sleeve and the sleeve is quite interesting it has a very vintage design with some vintage information I think about Caveco it is like the reproduction reproduction of something like Heidelberg 1914 so it's it's interesting here it is the, the modern information about Caveco and also with some information on their nibs. So, this is the outer sleeve made of glossy paper and inside what we have is a silver metal box with the Caveco logo on top. And this is quite nice. I like the feel of it uh, I really think it is a fun thing, so sorry. I have the pen for a while now, but I'm still very excited when I'm talking about Caveco, of course, and then why, and, and when I'm talking about this particular pen. Sorry, I just hit the camera. So, let's open this. There is some kind of shadow here on the camera, I don't know where it comes from. So let me take away the, the lid, this is very reflective, so it's not that nice for a video. And so what do you get inside this? So you get some stuff. And let me show you what we have. So what we have here, I showed this on the unboxing, so you can check it also, but let's go through this, um, because I think it may matter to some of you. We have here a certificate of the Kavec Sterling Sport and it says it is made of 60 of 56 grams of 1925 sterling silver. So let's take this away. We have one of those big stickers, Kavec stickers, stickers with the shepherd dog there. We have a postcard like this, that says the package was packed by Daniel. We have this interesting like caricature thing about Caveco, the vintage and modern. These are the founders of the brand, this is the current owner of the brand and it was created in Heidelberg and now it is in Nuremberg and it has the dog which is the the mascot of the of the brands i think this postcard is very very well thought of okay but it's not the most important stuff here then we have this paper which is like just like the big version of that small little leaflet that you get on the regular caveco sport it is the same thing but bigger size then another uh, sticker like the first one that I showed you this one is smaller that says history let's write history together so then we have a polishing cloth that I didn't use yet because I want the pen to oxidize and develop some patina then you have this box it has a very nice kind of velvety inside and you have here two cartridge boxes that come with the pen 
One is, uh, is Caveco Royal Blue, as the usual ink that comes with Caveco pens. Now this is the newer package, so there is a slightly different design. When you look at it at first, you'll not notice it too much. It's very coherent the way they are evolving, but it's slightly different uh, package. And also a pearl black ink cartridge bottles. Then it comes with a, an echo pouch, this Caveco echo leather pouch. This one has some dirt on it. It is a black one, very nice. It's now a little bit deformed already because, yes, I've been using it. I don't really want to scratch too much my Caveco Sterling Sport. It also comes with a mini syringe converter, which is fun, but I prefer to use pens with cartridges. And finally, we have the pen. The pen comes inside this sleeve, plastic sleeve as usual. And finally, here we have it, the Caveco Sterling Sport in the and it says 9 to 5 in every place to show you this is a sterling silver pen. So let me take the box out of the way and let me show you the details of the pen. So what we are looking at is, is to an overall regular Caveco Sport pen like many others you may see but this one has this different feature which is Caveco Sterling Sport, it's made of silver, it is mirror polished, I've been using it, it's no longer as shiny as it was, but still, you can still see my phone there reflected, you can, see, uh, this is the symbol of the, the phone holder, so you can, and this is the design on my sweater <laughs> there, that, that yellow thing, so it's very, very reflective, it's like a mirror. And it says Caveco Sterling Sport 9 to 5. It says that in one of the facets it is engraved in a kind of frosty line, very nice. Nothing on the other eight faces. So it is like a regular Caveco, which means it has the Caveco logo on top. As far as I understand, this is a part of the pen that's not made of silver. Then you have the octagonal shaped cap. You have a cylindrical shaped barrel that tapers down a little bit at the end, like it happens on the regular, for example, plastic Caveco Sports. The regular Caveco Sports, the plastic ones, not the acrylic ones like the Art Sports, they have um, a little thing there, like a, a ridge that has some texture there. This one doesn't. Uh, it has a knurled part, this one doesn't have it, like all the other metal Caveco Sport pens. So, 925 silver is engraved there on the cap. When you uncap the pen, it unscrews, like all the other Caveco pens. Let me just show it to you. How many turns? One turn. and one turn and three quarters, approximately. So that's how much it takes to uncap. I don't think it's too bad. And you have this mostly cylindrical barrel and you have the section there. As it happens in many Caveco, in plastic Caveco sport pens, you will see that there is some scratches there, kind of a ring of very light scratches where the cap meets the barrel. And I think that happens because there is always some play there and when you do that it may scratch and also, and I think it's the, when it happens the most is when you post it, it happens more. So, this is something that you have to live with it because it just happens. The pen has, um, has a lined part inside, the, the threads are made 
let me try to show you there. There is this black part there on the on the opening of the cap to make sure that the pen stays put when you uh, post it. You have then the threads made in metal inside. You have metal threads on the barrel and you will ask where is the 9 to 5 engraving on the barrel. It's there. It says sterling 9 to 5 on the bottom of the barrel and it has this nice concave shaped section that is quite comfortable to hold. It's not very wide but this is a small pocket pen. When you unscrew this you will find a cartridge inside. Of course I didn't use one of the cartridges that they kind of recommended, the blue or the black. I went for a cartridge of, caram of Caveco Caramel Brown and that's the one I have here. And of course the section also has the engraving there saying Sterling 9 to 5. Let's close this. It has a very nice metal sound to it. It's very heavy. 56 grams. It's really heavy. It is the heaviest of all the Caveco sports I have, even heavier than the brass or the steel sport. And then we have the nib. The nib comes in a unit in this color that you can screw out or unscrew uh, and change for another uh, Caveco nib. And you have here the Caveco logo and those beautiful lines there and it says Germany and it has the F for fine and 14 karat gold nib so these are the engravings on the nib this is really an interesting pen it is a short pen yes for sure but it is a full size pen when you post it so is it possible to write with the pen and post it? Yes, perfectly. Although it is kind of short, you may prefer a larger pen. If you hold the pen not in the section but higher, it's not comfortable to use. If you post the pen, it is very nice to use with no problem if you hold even if you hold the pen higher on the barrel. There will be no problem with that. Now, let me just show you also uh, a size comparison or comparison with other pens just for you to, to see. So this is the Sterling Sport, very shiny pen and when you look at it, it's very hard to tell apart from the Caveco AL Sport Raw, which is a pen that used to be completely mirror finished but this raw aluminium gets scratched and that's the way this pen is. And I think that if I unscrew, you will also see that kind of line of uh, faint, uh, faint scratches on the pen. You can see a very similar nib, however it has some differences because this one is made of steel. I want also to show you the other two full metal with no coating Caveco Sports, so Sterling AL Sport Raw, the very very nice Caveco Steel Sport, which is kind of a tool, this one feels completely indestructible, it is very very nice pen, also with all chrome trim, this one has the a premium Caveco premium nib, also with a different engraving. So this one is the lightest of the three because it's made of aluminium. Let me put the AL Sport up. I'm not sure if this will be easy to see on the video because they are all very reflective. And finally, I want to show you the Caveco Brass Sport, which is kind of the same thing with chrome trim, 
but it is of brass and it gets some patina. So this has patina, this still doesn't. This one, it's not really a patina, but it gets micro scratches all over, so it changes the aspect. And this one, I hope it will get some patina. I think it is a little bit more yellow than when I got it, but not really a big difference yet, although I hope to see it going almost black. And if I don't like it, I just grab the little polishing cloth they gave me and I will polish the pen to almost new condition. So this is a very nice pen. Now, let's talk about something else. And that something else is a... Um, is a different aspect of it. Let me grab something here. We are talking about the price of the pen. This pen costs 1,500 euros here in Portugal. So I think you can find it for sometimes a slightly lower price, but it's the, the, the price it costs. So people may say there's no there's no way a pocket pen will cost that much. I understand that idea, but when you buy this Kavec Sport, you're not buying really a pocket pen. You will not put these next to your keys, even if it's inside the, the pouch. I don't think you put these in your pocket with your keys and coins and stuff to get it scratched all over. It is a kind of a luxury item. And some people will say, but it's just a small pen. Yes, it is a small pen, but it is heavy. It is made of silver. Although the silver is not that expensive, it is, you need to work the silver. It Sometimes it fails because it's kind of a softer material. It needs to be hand polished. It needs to get to your home completely in perfect condition, so there is a lot of care to use uh, in the use of it, and it's made in German, in Germany, and in Germany, not like here in Portugal, the um, the salaries are much higher, and so I think the work that is involved in creating such a pen will also help to increase the price. So when you say, ah, but that's too expensive for a a pocket pen. If it is, of course, there is the option, for example, to get the Steel Sport, which is much, um, much less expensive. Ten times less expensive. So, it does the trick, but this is not a pen that is an everyday carry. This is a special pen, at least in my opinion. And this is something that will come, this discussion will come. I have to say, if, if Kavek didn't send me this pen, it would be very hard for me, with my kind of salary, uh, to buy this, this pen. Really, really hard, because here in Portugal, <laughs> uh, I don't want to talk a lot about that, but the salaries are really low, so this would be out of my reach. However, this is not just the pen, this is a luxury item, this is meant to be kind of a grail pen that you search for. Again, is this a silver pen worth it? Is this acrylic pen worth what it costs? Mostly the new special editions, the Parker Centennial du Fold. Or what about a Sailor King of Pen that is very expensive, more than half the price of that one, and it is just a plastic pen. And I also have here the Pilot Silver, which is also made of silver. Yes, it's less expensive than this one, but it is much, much lighter, so it has less material, precious material, and also this is made of plastic, so this discussion can go on forever. And I don't really want to dive into it 
too deeply because I, I think I want to make a video about the pen cost and pen value because I think it's interesting. What I mean is if you want uh, everyday carry, very inexpensive pen, you can get a Caveco Classic Sport. If you want to have also a luxury pen by Caveco, you can get this Sterling, if you can afford it, of course. So, it's not the value of... You're not buying only how much this pen has in materials. Has, the same happens with the Sailor King of Pen, or with the Parker Dufold, or with the Pilot Silver. It's all the same kind of stuff. So, I'm not saying it is inexpensive, it's not, it is really expensive, but it may make sense. Now, you ask me, do you think this pen appeals to you, so to me? Yes, it does. I wouldn't be able to afford it because it is really too expensive and my salary can't go with this pen. I would need to save for a long time, but would I want this pen in my collection? Yes, for sure. So this is not, as I told you, the everyday carry pen. It is a collector's item and I collect Kavec Sport, so it would make sense to have this pen. Would I be able to pay for it? That's a whole different question. So, again, let's... The, I just wanted to show it next to this pen. This is the the Pilot Silver, which is a very beautiful pen. One of the differences between both is that this one has a plastic uh, section, this one has a silver section, the MIV is different, although both are gold. This is much lighter and this one has some engravings which are very nice. I will review this pen soon, so it is also an, another interesting pen. Now, about the size comparison, we have here the Caveco Sterling Sport, which is the same size of other Sport. This is the Parker Dufold, Centennial Dufold, and this is the Lamy LX, the same size as Lamy Safari, uh, LX Ruthenium. And you can see the Caveco is a shorter pen. Some people say they are of Caveco because Caveco is a small pen. You may say it is, it may be a little thin, but it's not small in the moment you write with it, because when you uncap your Parker Dufold and when you uncap your Lamy Safari, you have two pens of almost the same size. The Lamy LX, not the Safari, is just a tiny bit longer, maybe one millimeter, but not much. And when you unscrew your Caveco and post it, yes, because pocket pens are meant to be posted. and that's a thing. You may say, I don't like to post pens, so maybe um, the concept of a pocket pen may not appeal to you in the same way. So these are kind of concessions you need to make if you want these pens. So these pens are meant to be posted and when you look, it is the same size or even a little bit longer than the Parker Blue Fold. So, is this a small pen? No, it's not. Is this comfortable? I think it is, but be aware, this pen is really heavy. So if you like light pens, don't go for this one. If you like heavy pens, I do like. I have that replica of a Parker Dufold made of copper. This pen is really, really, really amazing. I really enjoy this pen. Very well balanced, I like it. It has some more extra weight that makes it feel more solid. For example, this one seems to be a very nice pen. It's not a comparison video, but just saying. But this one feels um, a little less strong because it is quite thick here at the place where the threads are, but inside it's, it's, it has uh, thin walls. Of silver. The Caveco Sterling Sport inside, I'm not sure if I can show it to you, no I can't, but uh, you have to believe me, inside about here there is like a metal, uh, another silver part that is put here that gives kind of the double of the 
of the the thickness of the barrel and it makes it more more robust it it looks like the the first generation of the Cavec Art Sport which had a brass insert it doesn't have a brass insert but it has a silver insert and that insert goes around here by the place where the cartridge finishes when it is inside the pen so it's extra weight extra silver if that is important to you so i think this is what i had to say about the pen this is a long review but it had to be it is my f the top pen of my favorite brand or of one of my favorite brands and so i had to show it uh, in detail and to discuss many things and i need to talk about it later and even make some thoughts about Montblanc and other brands that also have very expensive pens. So this is it, the Cavec Sterling Sport. Nice pen, expensive, but it all depends on if you can or you can't afford it. Now let's put the camera down and let's just make a writing sample to show you how it performs. So. Here we have our pen and paper and let's start first and cap the pen, post it. If you are too crazy about your expensive silver pen, don't post it, just keep it unused as it is. But if you want to use it, you need to do that. And I want to show it to you. This is the fine gold rhodium plated nib. So. This is the, is that the focus right? I'm not sure. This is the Caveco Sterling Sport. And this one is the, has a fine gold nib. The paper that I'm using is the usual, Rodia dot pad and the ink is caveco caramel brown and my handwriting is getting uglier and uglier each day so what we have here in writing performance we have a pen that has a fine nib that is really a fine nib it is a caveco nib Many people complain about Caveco nibs. I usually don't have any complaints. I didn't like, not that I didn't like, I had a little misalignment on an um, extra fine nib that I received from Caveco one day, but it was very easy to, to fix. But you don't need to do that. If you don't like Caveco nib, just talk to them and they will fix or talk with your seller and they will fix that problem to you. Uh, I don't really think that there are many problems in Cavec nibs. I had that problem with an extra fine. I use mostly medium and fine and never have problems. So it's really a fine nib. It is not a very wet nib. You can see it is wet enough, but it's not very wet pen. And it is something that I like. Most of the times I don't write in Rhodia paper, I write in very cheap paper, so this works well for me. If you want a wetter nib, you may need to work a little bit on it. It's fine to me, so no problem, but be aware it is a drier nib. So the nib writes well, it has a little bit of feedback, not scratchy, but it has feedback, so it's not a butter smooth experience. If it was maybe abroad, it would be more smooth. This way it isn't. And about the reverse writing, you can do it, but it is so dry that will eventually run out of ink. But the 
regular writing is a fine and it works well. I'm not pressing the pen almost and it's writing well. One thing that I notice is that the upper lines are thinner than the down going lines and I'm not pressing it against the paper, just holding with its own weight. So you can see the lines that go up are thinner, which makes the writing a little bit more expressive. It's not a flex nib, but you have some line variation because of this. If Is this intended? Is this a defect or is a feature? I'm not sure. I kind of like it. And some places the line is very thin, but it doesn't skip. It may look like, but I'm looking at the, my phone when I'm recording this, and it may look like it skipped, but it didn't. The line is there. About line variation. If you press the pen, about flex. It's not a flex nib, but because it is gold, you can try to do this. So, is there a difference? Yes. Is this a kind of pressure that you do in your everyday writing? No, it's not. So, this is not really useful for having a flex, a line variation that depends on the flexibility of the nib as a regular writing. This is something that you'll do in a special moment, not as usual. So, let me just write a longer uh, text and then we will end this video. Okay, this is the writing sample. <laughs> okay, I'm, I don't have a, a nice handwriting, but there are YouTubers that do, I don't, so this is what you'll get from me because that's how, what I can do. So, it writes well, even when we write faster or slower, it delivers very well. It is a really, really nice pen very heavy looks solid and you know that you have a special yet very very expensive pen in your hands so i have to thank you all for watching and also thank kavek for sending me this pen if you want to support me with this please check the link that I'll leave below to Kaveku's website so you can see the pen and the characteristics that they explain in the website. Because those visits that are linked to my YouTube video will be important for them to understand that my video at least made people interested in checking more about the pen, even if they are not buying, of course. So. This is all I had to show you. I will leave links below for where you can buy the pens, you can visit it, buy it, and check also the other pens that I showed here in this video. And so, this is all. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to meet you soon, here, again, in the channel. Bye!